next day, we got the new transmission, we got the engine timed and ready for it, planning on mating up the transmission, and then I got all three timing covers in, so I'm probably going to put those on and torque those down, and then we'll see how well the new engine fits in the truck. The transmission is looking pretty good already. The mount seems to match, and even the speedo cable I think matches, even the shifter plate seems to match. So yeah, I'm feeling good about it. And just like that, it fits. I mean, it better fit as far as I drove to get it, but I don't know. A sinking feeling that it might not until you actually do it, but as you can see, it worked out. So now time to test fit it and see if I'm gonna have to chop through the firewall in this thing. And torque down and get the timing covers on except for the top one i'm gonna put that on last because i got a really cool clear one i don't want to get filthy i can already tell that these water outlets here are going to be hitting the firewall so i'm gonna to have to trim the firewall just above the transmission tunnel a little bit not a big deal i'm sure that i can chop enough to make it work there's lots of room to work in here so i will have to take the dash off but i've done it before and i only left it on by a few bolts so should be pretty quick and easy. This thing will be running. Okay, so I'm back at it. I got the dash and all the components that would be in the way out. So I'm gonna be cutting right there. There's all that stuff, it's dark so you can't really see it. And I can already tell by looking at the engine and the transmission, the other engine didn't have all this back here. You know, it just went straight up like that. You can tell from the slope of the transmission and the way that the transmission tunnel is shaped that this right here is going to be in the way so I'm going to do some measuring and then cut something like this right here so I've got room for these water outlets back here shouldn't be too big of a deal then once I've got it cut out I'll probably set the engine in where it needs to be fab up some mounts make sure the transmission mounts right and then weld the firewall further back with some extra metal I've got around okay so I decided to go ahead and take all the front bumper stuff off um, it's pretty rusty and nasty so I don't think I'm gonna use it as long as it's legal to drive without it which I think it is where I live and I'm thinking because I'm gonna have to test fit this in and out a few times I'm thinking I'm actually just gonna chop right here and right there so I have a nice big hole to just put the engine in and out I can just make brackets to bolt this back or weld it back on when I'm done, whatever I need to do. So I'm thinking that's going to be worth the trouble and make my life a whole lot easier. Okay, so pretty much I've eyeballed it, not really measured much, and marked where I want to cut. And I'm going to chop that out and then see how well she fits. So here we go. Probably gonna start with a grinder and then use a sawzall for these smooth parts up here. Come on. All right. I actually feel pretty good about that. So, we'll see if it fits now. So it's pretty much dark and I don't have anybody to help me with the engine. So I'm actually gonna use the rest of the evening to clean up the shop. It's so filthy and cluttered now that it makes it difficult to even get stuff done, find the wrench you need. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up. Uh, was at Harbor Freight earlier. We caught these on a deal. The manager actually marked them down like another seven bucks, so like twenty-five bucks for this or something. So not bad. So I'm walking around my backyard, and this falls out of the sky. It almost landed on my head. It's a huge caterpillar fighting. A wasp. I'm still going at it. It's looking like the wasp one, but it's kind of hard to tell. Oh. Let me stop.
time today. I'm back at it. Got a nice hole cut in the firewall and engine ready to test fit in. I just eyeballed it so we'll see if that gives us enough room to clear all this stuff here. Got Dr. Pepper, some cinnamon bears, some time to work on it. So here we go. Okay, much better. Let's see how she fits. The oil pan is hitting this part of the cross member right here. So I'm chopping and hammering it out. And we'll see if anything else is stopping us from getting this in. Okay, so good news. Definitely was due for some of that. The 2.6 chug mounts that were in this truck actually seem like they're gonna work perfectly. This um, part that goes on the block, I had to kind of wallow out this top bolt. Bottom one I left and it screws right in there. I'm gonna have to take the engine out to put it in properly, but then it mates right up. And believe it or not, these two pieces actually just sit together. And because of the way these are shaped, the engine doesn't fall out you know, because of the angle. And then there's these parts on the side to keep it from sliding forward and back. Um, and that's actually it. That's the way that engine over there sat in this truck and it was fine. So, I mean, if I was to build this engine, be running like 600 horsepower or something, I'd probably have to figure something else out. But for now, I think that'll be fine. And over here, it's less accessible, but they look like they're gonna line up well. So the only thing I'm gonna have to do is chop the bracket on this side because there's this thing that supports the intake manifold. So I have to do a little bit of chopping there to make everything fit, but it should be all right. So now, before I take it out, I'm going to do a little bit more cutting on the firewall and then probably tack up the new back of the firewall so that I can weld it all when I pull the engine out one last time. And then we'll paint this engine bay. So yeah, there should be plenty of clearance for however I need to run these hoses. I'm going to try and use the piece that I cut out, um, just set back a little and then take some extra metal I've got lying around and fill these gaps here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to weld it all or if I can just use some like great, like that great stuff, like gap filler stuff to help fill in part of it. So we'll see how it goes. So the engine's out for what I hope to be the final time. Um, basically my idea here is just to flip around this piece that I cut out. So we've got some more room and then I'm gonna get some random pieces of sheet metal and do some gap filler and fill all this up and uh, weld it up. And then while this is out, I'll show you what I was talking about as far as the mount goes. These are the two bolts or bolt holes that the mount connects to. So I'll have to bore out the other one a little bit like I did the other side. And then I'll have to trim the edge of it a little bit so that I can have both the motor mount and this support bracket for the intake manifold here. Um, have them bumped together and I may weld them together while I'm doing all that. Hopefully this piece right here didn't get in the way so I'm gonna have to trim the bottom too but if I do it's no big deal. Another issue I'm having is that the truck starter doesn't quite fit through the uh, this metal shield that goes between the transmission and the engine. Um, it's shaped just a little bit differently. The edge of it hits just a little so what I'm gonna do is drill out these holes so they don't exactly line up. I'm going to drill them out from this side so that we'll have perfectly matching holes and then I need to trim out the border of this a little bit with a dremel or maybe a drill bit or something so at that point it should fit. But unfortunately I'll have to take transmission off to do that part but no big deal really. Also there's this water pump sensor whatever it is that uh, I'm gonna thread in here because it's gonna be real hard to get to once the engine's in the car. So you just go ahead and put some Teflon tape on it and thread it in and I can just plug the sensor in uh, once it's in the truck. So something that's bothering me is this open flywheel down here. I don't know if you're supposed to run it like that, but it makes me feel kind of uneasy. So I made this plate to go up in there and bolt in uh, to protect that a little bit. So it may not be perfect, but it's better than, I don't know. I feel like a rock could just get thrown up in there, right? But maybe I'm crazy, but this will be for peace of mind. So the engine's pretty much ready to go back in. Got this mount customized over here. So basically I decided instead of chopping the mount, which is obviously pretty important, 
I just chopped a little bit of this support bracket for the intake manifold. Should be fine, and that way I have both the bracket and the mount there. And also, the original hole for the mount was right up there, and I had to drill one way down here. Um, but the bottom one fit, and it looks good. Uh, I already measured it, and it will fit in the truck. I already got the bottom mounts right here ready to go. The mounts are on the other side. All good. And then the starter, I trimmed out the edges and I fit in the DSM starter and the, the flywheel is the DSM so hopefully it works. It kind of sits in a different spot than it did on the front wheel drive transmission so hopefully it works. I guess we'll see. And they're pretty much ready to go in but obviously before it can I need to fix up the firewall.